Hey, welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Mitch English. You have a car, you have a car, you have a car. We all have cars, right? Let's check in with Lauren Fix, the car coach, to tell us what's new in the auto world. There's a major pushback against self-driving automobiles. Cruise, the autonomous vehicle operator owned by General Motors, has been asked by the California Department of Motor Vehicles to bring down the size of its operations, especially in San Francisco, following a crash of an emergency vehicle. The news came after Cruise driverless taxi collided with a fire truck in a San Francisco intersection on August 17th. Since then, they have shut down all of Cruise in California because of not just this, but because of other things. Authorities said that the fire truck was in code three emergency mode, which means its red lights and sirens were activated at the time of the crash. The autonomous taxi had one passenger inside who was taken to a local hospital with injuries that are not considered life-threatening, thank goodness. But wait, I thought self-driving cars were about safer driving, but there's more. Driverless vehicles promise a future with less congestion and pollution, fewer accidents resulting from human error, and better mobility for people with disabilities. That's what supporters say. But every now and then, one of these cars runs into trouble in a way that casts a bit of doubt on the bold future. How about this one that happened just a few months ago in San Francisco, where a driverless car somehow drove into a city paving project and got stuck into wet concrete? I'm not joking. In wet concrete, it's a front-wheel drive vehicle that actually got stuck in the concrete as workers stood there shocked. Some of the people watched stating, I was kind of pleased to see this because it illustrates how creepy and weird the whole driverless car thing is about, and consumers are pushing back. Very interesting because that's a big part of the success of autonomous vehicles. The incident happened just days after California regulators agreed to expand driverless taxi services in San Francisco. But despite these safety concerns, local officials and community activists were supportive at the time. In a three to one vote that happened a few months ago, the California Public Utilities Commission, which regulates self-driving cars in the state, gave Cruise and Waymo permission to offer paid rides anytime during the day and throughout the day in the city. Though driverless cars have not been blamed for any serious injuries or crashes in San Francisco specifically, there have been involved in several jarring episodes. And don't forget that incident that happened with a Waymo vehicle that killed someone crossing the street in Arizona just two years ago. Other situations were a mess too. As many as 10 cruise driverless cars stopped working near a music festival in San Francisco, it was confused in the North Beach area, causing traffic to back up and cause a huge traffic jam. In January of this year, a cruise vehicle entered an area where firefighters were working and did not stop until the firefighter started banging on its hood and smashing the vehicle's window, according to city records. In May, a driverless Waymo car blocked a fire truck while it was backing out of the station. These are serious issues. I'm Lauren Fix, and you can find this information on my website, carcoachreports.com and dailyflashshow.com.